Um, I've heard our show, sorry, everybody, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, there I am, okay. Uh, I've heard our show called many things. I've heard it called a reality show, um, a cooking show, a family drama, and a documentary film series. But I think the show's director, Cynthia Hill, and my partner in clawing and scratching this thing into existence said it best when she called A Chef's Life a love letter to Eastern North Carolina, to rural America told through the lens of food. Thank you so much to the Peabody Board for even considering our series, um, for a production whose budget was made up of stubbornness and passion. To be here is truly overwhelming. Thank you to Amy Shoemaker from SCETV for seeing a spark in our sizzle reel. <laughs> and for PBS in general for allowing us to make the show that we wanted to make. Thank you to our dedicated, dedicated team, Rex Miller and Josh Wall for chasing that magic hour around Eastern North Carolina for years now. Tom Vickers, Ung Kyung Ho, that's hard for me, Southern girl. Uh, <laughs> Margaret, the folks at Trailblazers, Melinda Lowry, and all the pig farmers who believed in our project from the very beginning. I wanna thank my partner in life, Ben Knight, for uh, going along on another one of my little projects. And my family, of course, because they've been so generous with their time and their own story. Um, and because everyone is uh, saying thank you in their own language, thank you all. And I just wanted to say thank you to Vivian. It's, um, it's really hard to open up your life in this kind of way that she and, and Ben and the rest of her family have done. And we're so grateful. And I think that the audience is grateful too. So thank you, Vivian.